Luke, first of all, a very warm welcome to Park Hall. You were born in Hayward in the Greater Manchester area and you signed for Bury as an eight-year-old. How did you get picked up by them? Yeah, I was uh, playing for my local amateur side um, and then got picked up and went to Bury for a season when I was eight before I went to Oldham. And again, how did the move to Oldham come about? Um, just from playing against them. Um, they're in like, the same league, so we used to play against them all the time and uh, yeah, just spoke to my dad and then the next minute I was at Oldham. And as a young player at that time, you're looking back now, was the experience that you got through their coaching setup invaluable to bring you into the future and what lay ahead? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think it's, it's tough because you don't really want to start too young in the like, academies and things like that, I don't think. But it does get the foundations of like discipline in you and uh, that's obviously transferable into different areas of life. So the lads who don't end up making it as pro, they can take that into their industry that they're going to. But yeah, it's, uh, it, it was important for me, yeah. And you've signed for a number of teams over the years and quite a few on loan <coughs> as well. You yeah. must mention Accrington Stanley. You made your debut for them against Southend United and you got off to a great start because you saved a penalty. Yeah, and then they scored. <laughs> And they scored, uh, they scored the next penalty. We give away two penalties in that game. And I saved the first one. And then, uh, look at the draw, they got another one. Scored that one, but that was good. Yeah, I was 19. So it was a different experience to be playing in the league and stuff at 19. And while still a young keeper, you signed for Leicester City. They were in the championship at the time, but you traveled with the team, you were involved with the team, you trained with them, and you had a few games there at the under 21 level. Yeah, I was in the under 21s there and um, we'd train with them a, a few times and well, quite a lot and we'd see how they work and it was, it was good, yeah, was to see how people are working at that level and what they have to put in and day in, day out. And likewise Watford, well they were in the English Premiership at the time, did you enjoy yeah. your period with them? Yeah, yeah, that was probably like my most enjoyable time, um, I loved living down in London it's me and my partner who lived down in London before we had the kids and stuff, so uh, we enjoyed it and it was a great club. So uh, the management and the lads down there and everything like that, so that was a good time in my career, yeah. And if we bring you up to date as far as your previous clubs are concerned, Kidderminster Harriers and in particular, well, the FA Cup run, I guess we could lump it all together under that. Reading, that must have been a great experience. Yeah, yeah, beating Reading. Beating Reading was probably better than the West Ham game, really, because obviously we won. And, um, and that night, it was, it was brilliant, yeah. Um, the West Ham game was unbelievable. <coughs> but then they brought on Declan Rice and he changed the game. And um, Yeah, I loved my time at Kidderminster. Just, you know, the people around the club and stuff are brilliant. And... Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a great little club, so I, I, I look back really fondly of my time there. And we just had a, a quick tour of your past as a footballer, a number of highlights that we've mentioned there. Is there any one of them, or perhaps another one perhaps, that stands out for you in particular and why? Probably the pen save on my debut. Like I say, I was 19. Um, to save a penalty in your debut at 19, we had a good game and, and then obviously we did lose in the end, but to, sa to save a penalty in your debut, I think it's, it's really good. And it's not so my league debut, I saved the pen and then my FA Cup debut, I saved the pen. So I think that them two are like stand out for me. And the common thread so far is that all the clubs we've mentioned have been English. Yeah. How did you come to sign for the New Saints playing in the JD Cymru Premier? Um, me and the manager had come across each other before and um, I, liked, I, I liked the way he spoke about you know, what, the way he wants to play football and stuff like that previously um, and we've got a few mutual sort of friends and connections and stuff um, so I did want to, I just wanted to work with him really and, and then I've come down, it's a great group of lads and top, top, uh, top goalie coach of H so it's, um, yeah it was, it was perfect for me. 
And although the European campaign this season has come to an end, did the lure of playing or being involved in European football itself, did that have an added attraction as far as you were concerned? Yeah, definitely. I think for people in, in England, the, everybody knows about TNS. Um, probably don't know about other teams in the league, um, but everybody knows about TNS, the way they play. Uh, the way that the club is run and everything like that so um, I think a lot of people would jump at the chance to come. And what did you know about Welsh football in general and the New Saints in particular prior to the current interest that Craig Harrison extended to you? Yeah I've got a couple of friends over here, one lad who's at Carnarvon, um, I knew Leo pre from previous um, and one of my mates is at Connors Key, so I did know a little bit about the league. Um, and it's probably more competitive than people think. Um, but yeah, I, I, I knew, like I said, I knew everything about TNS and what it's about. So when, when it did come up and the chance come up, it was, it was a no-brainer. And in reference to the, the interest that Craig had, he spoke to you, you came up, you met people. Was it a, a difficult decision to sign for the New Saints or did you have to think about it a little bit? No, it wasn't a difficult decision, no. It was, uh, it was, it was just a no-brainer, like I say, it was a no-brainer when, when I spoke with Craig and, and stuff. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm really, really happy it's done now and uh, I can, uh, I can get, get going. One of the questions we ask outfield players is what can the fans expect from you? What, what are your strengths that you bring to the side? With a goalkeeper, in some ways, that's a little bit narrower, but nevertheless, you would have strengths. What, in particular, are those your attributes? Um, my shot stopping, um, talking, and commanding my area are probably my main strengths. Um, but, yeah, yeah, they're probably my main strengths, yeah. And away from football, a lot of footballers like to play golf, but that's not particularly your forte. Uh, nah, I, I do like the game, but I'd rather watch it than play it. So I'm not very good. Um, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, I, I, I like golf, but it's, it's not really something I would do in my spare time. But with a fiance and a couple of kids, I guess that takes up most of your spare time. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. So my little lad's just started football, and he's really getting into that. He plays at a weekend so I can get to go and watch him and um, obviously it suits with TNS only being like an hour and a quarter away from here. I can make sure I get back and I've got my daughter who's uh, 17 months so I can spend more time with her as well and see the kids and my missus. And Luke, in this particular type of interview, your first one with the club, there's always a, quest a particular question that we cover. There is as indeed at other clubs, an initiation ceremony, and you will be expected, don't worry, we're not gonna do it right now, but you will be expected to stand up at some point in front of your peers and sing a song. What are we likely to hear from you? <laughs> um, I'll surprise you on the day. I'll surprise you on the day, I don't, I don't know. I, like I say, I, li I like different types of music, so uh, whatever comes to me on that day. Watch this space, Watch this I like space. that one. <laughs> Luke, thank you for your time this afternoon. Really appreciate our chat and all the very, very best here at Park Hall. Thank you.